Let's take a look at finding the five number summary uh, using Google Sheets. Now remember the five number summary, we have our, I already have my data input in here. We have our min, we have Q1, we have Q2, which is the same as our median. We have our Q3 and then we have our max. Okay, so for our min, um, let's see if I can find it here. I'll do that. Let's scroll up the top to see. Okay, it's, it's right up here at the top. I didn't figure it'd be under statistics, so I'm gonna choose min there, and I want to choose the range. I could type in a1 colon a11 or click and drag, just like those, and that would be our formula for the min for the quartile. If I do the drop down here, I scroll down to statistical, and I want to choose the quartile. And I want A1 through A11 again, so I click and hold down, drag, to select that, comma, one for first quartile. For a second quartile, um, choose my function, choose statistical, choose quartile. Again, choose A1 to A11, comma 2. Press enter. Choose my um, function, choose statistical, choose quartile. Click and hold down, and then comma 3 for third quartile. And then our max, if I choose the function, scroll up, I see max there. And again, I'll click and drag to select A1 through A11 and press enter. And um, center everything. Now remember, this uh, Q2 is the same as our median. So if I did the, the function median and did A1 colon A11, see, so it also gives us 31. So on that one, it doesn't matter which one you pick. It'll give you the same value. But that's how you get your five-number summary uh, using Google Sheets.